are such an asshole. All right, assholeconsulting.com. Delivering swift kicks of reality up everybody's ass. Maybe not really up everybody, but on their ass. Hey, asshole, I'm ready for more punishment. Here's another video consulting request. <clears throat> I'm a divorced dad living in a liberal town. I'm going to try to keep you anonymous so you don't run into more trouble than you're already in right now. Uh, who dated for a while after divorce and then found a woman that I think is a keeper, but there's one big catch. Should I marry her or cohabitate? Well, what's the catch? That's a question. I have a high IQ. I'm very successful and well off after working very hard and climbing the corporate ladder for 30 years. I've always found it very hard to find any women who are smart, hardworking, and psychologically healthy. It is, it is hard. Hard to find men like that, too, if you happen to bat for that team. I've now been dating for a year a woman who is an accomplished 39-year-old lawyer with no kids. She is very smart, responsible, hardworking, and parsimonious. Oh, fuck. Why you got to hit me with these rainy words so early in the morning, man? Uh, she comes from a family that is the model family of value and success. She makes about as much money as I do and saved well throughout her life. She has her act together and she solves her problems and she never shoved them onto me. We have great relationships and she has none of the insecurity and bullshit problems other women have so much of. And the relationship has been calm and trusting as a result. Here's the big catch. She is very liberal. She wants to bring masses of poor immigrants and refugees into the country and put them on welfare as to get them to vote Democrat. She wants to put benefits up for the parasite classes. She's against U.S. defense spending. She's against inequality and wants to tear down people who are more successful than her. She wants affirmative action. Well, what, is she going to raise young? Uh, uh, she wants to tear down people who have more money than her, but is she willing to give money to people lesser than her? Go down to their level? <clears throat> she wants affirmative action and privileged treatment for women. She's marching women's march. She's very feminist, but in a polite way, not a rude way. Uh, okay. She also doesn't try to force her politics on anyone. We don't talk about politics much, but she knows I'm more conservative than her. I don't know how you... What? You're, you're, you're a, 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 what, a Marxist where you're just going to go murder people if they don't vote your way? That's about the only way you can get more to the left of her. All her family, family and friends are liberal too, except for one cousin who was conservative and moved away to Florida. She is sold on me and she finds that the vast majority of men her age are either married or life disasters. Yeah, and she's a real prize. She loves the state more than you, more than any, she, she loves foreigners and immigrants and total strangers more than she does the people in her own life and, and she's gonna stab hardworking people in the back. That's why I always love the engineers who work really hard, married liberal girls who major in education and these poor schleps are working you know, 80 hours a week, making 80 grand a year, forking over 30, and then Tilly Magoo with their education, you know, part-time job, goes and votes Democrat. Like, I'm a contributing member, like just stabbing her husband in the back. I want this, I want that. It's like, yeah, but it's not in the budget. You need to work harder. How will you lower my taxes and start voting Republican? Then we might have nice things. Uh... <clears throat> Majority of men her age are either married or life disasters. Until recently, I was very blue pill, so I thought that if a relationship was going well, that meant it was naturally going towards marriage, and I should get ready for that. No, no. Now I'm red pill aware. I'm reading about the peril of marriage laws for men and new positive paths like MGTOW. Yeah, she's a lawyer. Like, if she ain't a divorce lawyer, she knows a damn good divorce lawyer. I mean, I mean what... Until recent, uh, so she's liberal, and there are almost 100, and so are 100% of the women I meet here. Yeah, you're in a liberal town. So she is the best catch I've met since I've got divorced. The chances I could find someone as good as her who is conservative are very low. Well, in that area, yeah. I also can't move to Florida like her cousin because I share custody with my kid and my ex, and I have to remain local for a long time still. Should I marry her or co cohabitate? You are still blue pill. What, why is it that dichotomy? Why is it this choice? Hey, do you wanna... I'm trying to think of what the, you presented these options. It's like going to somebody and saying, do you wanna stick your dick in a tree shredder? Or would you rather have your balls eaten by fire ants? Which one is it? And you, you don't seem to realize that there is a third option and that is you just keep dating and having fun. Dude, okay, here's, here's why I'm suspecting. <clears throat> you're blue pill, you're talking MGTOWN and all that. You've never lived for yourself once. You're probably a yes man in corporate America. You've done really well, you've done really great. You just keep getting promoted. You do the right thing. You do what fucking society tells you. Not once have you asked what you want. 
And you're saying, you're like, well, you know, all the women around here are leftist communists the girls, and this one's not as bitchy as the rest of them. She just wants Marxism and socialism and, you know, and, and seems more wedded to the idea of communism and her politics and feminism, wore a pink hat, uh, but, you know, she's nice to me. I honestly, not joking here, pal, it would be better just being single and dating this girl, in my opinion. Regardless, you're, beggars can't be choosers, and you're a beggar here. You're just taking whatever crumbs fall. You're like, well, this one didn't beat up me up, and she's only sort of a you know a socialist Marxist. She's not like a Stalinist Marxist, more of a Leninist one. You, you're just taking what you can get. Why don't you just enjoy dating this girl? That's fine. That's cool. And you got the perfect alibi. You got the perfect excuse. I'm never getting married again. It was a horrible relationship. I'm not cohabiting none of it because you might have that uh, common law marriage where you know well we're living together so no you're doing neither neither okay and you better fly your at you got money you can fly down to Florida and go date some chicks you go fly to non-communist states and go date non-communist women I mean, have, have some self-respect. Doesn't it piss you off? You busted your ass off and the woman you're dating votes to take over half to give it to undeserving ungratefuls that come in here and hate your guts and vote for more socialism and the destruction of the United States. Doesn't that piss you off a bit? Well, he's kind of nice to me. Fuck! Get a pair! So I... You have very low standards, very low standards, all right? I would never, never date a woman like this. Never, I wouldn't give her the time of day. I don't care how nice she is. I don't like communists. I don't like parasites. I have some morals and principles where it's like, you know what? I like freedom. This country was really fat. A lot of Western civilization. And you, because you watched some Marxist feminist bullshit back in the 60s, are voting it all to hell. There's a reason she's single, never had a kid at 39, because she puts her career and her politics above all else. I doubt this woman is capable of love. I doubt she's capable, you know, your check mark is all very sterile and robotic. Has she made you food? Does she give you great blow dive jobs? Does she dress in sexy lingerie? Or did you never demand that of your first wife? Your options are neither that you presented to me because that will just ruin your life. What remaining half of it you have. So let's not fuck up the second half, shall we? Let's pull a Tom Brady and whatever Super Bowl it was where he came back from behind and kicked a lot of ass, all right? You could continue dating her. <clears throat> you could continue dating her and say, you know what? Your politics really just don't agree with my political philosophy or my moral philosophy, frankly, and I want to find a more traditional conservative woman, right? See, that's another option. I want to date other people. So, keep dating. Keep dating, but I want to date other people. Dump her, although she's not done anything untowards to you, and I don't see why you get rid of her if you're having a good time. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, and th those would be your three options right there. <clears throat> but you're not, until this gal figures out what marriage is about and what love is and puts you number one, uh, above herself even, no, this is a gal you date. This is a gal you have a fun time with. This is a gal you date. But in the meantime, you know, start dating on the side. Start dating on the side. Whether you tell her that or not, you know, this is just me. But, you know, marriage or cohabitate, neither. I guess cohabitate would be the better one. I don't know why you got to ruin a good thing. But, uh, no, well, that's suicide. So, all right, that's it. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.